we back off in that thing. Steady applying pressure all summer long. We summertime fine. Stroke game is strong. That's what she said. And here are the four strokes of an airplane engine. Let go! Boom! To become a pilot, it feels like you have to become everything. You got to be a part-time lawyer and understand rules and regulations. You got to know how to fly the airplane itself. And then you got to be a mechanic to understand how things work. But all this works in your favor and really helps keep you safe. And understanding the basics of how your engine is working and the four strokes of an engine A one time is going to help you be able to not only understand what's going on with your engine, but if something starts to go wrong, you can understand how to correct that thing. Let's get into that thing right now. Hey, oh, boom! So check it. You know the vibe. We're talking about the four strokes of an engine. Your stroke game must be strong in understanding this knowledge and how your engine is working. Every piston in your engine, your four-cylinder engine on the nice trainer aircraft that you're flying is going to go through four strokes. And you got to understand exactly what those strokes are. This is a nice diagram of what your engine looks like, baby. And let's talk about exactly what exactly is it stroking. How is it being lubed up? It's being lubed up using fuel and air. Boom! Always remember that your engine needs lubrication. And what it's using as lubrication is air and fuel. You, as the pilot, are controlling both the air and fuel, the amount that you're giving it by either controlling the throttle, which controls the amount of air you're giving the engine, or the mixture, which you're controlling the amount of fuel you're giving the engine. So you're giving the lube that it needs so it can stroke that thing out when it goes through the four strokes of an engine. It's all connected, baby, in that thing. The next time that you're doing your pre-flight and you're walking around the aircraft and you're in the front of the aircraft and you're looking at that propeller, you're making sure those blades are nice and crisp, they don't have any dings or nicks in it, and you're looking at that spinner, and I'm making sure all those screws are intact, everything is nice and cool. Look at that engine right when you're in the front of that aircraft and you're gonna see an air filter. That air filter, that's where that air intake is getting into that thing. It's getting right into the carburetor. And once it starts to get into the carburetor, then you start to control the amount that's gonna work its way to that manifold and get into that engine by controlling the throttle. So that air is coming in right there, boom, and then you're controlling the amount that gets into that manifold as it goes up. So then in addition to that, you're also controlling the amount of fuel by using your mixture. You can lean that thing out, Hey, lean back, hey, lean back. Oh, you can push that thing in and have it nice and rich like Elon Musk, hey, one time. Whatever you're doing with that mixture, you're controlling the amount of fuel that's going along with the amount of air and both getting into the manifold and working its way to your engine. You need the lubrication, baby. That thing needs to be lubed up if it's going to operate properly. Hey, boom! So check it. You know the vibe. Now you got the air and the fuel. They working this way through the manifold, through that pipe. You getting ready to lay that pipe down with that lube. You know what I mean? You working that thing. It's working that air and that fuel mixture. And then it starts to get into the first stroke, the first stroke of your stroke game for your engine. And that first stroke is the intake stroke. So it got it got to intake all that fuel and air. So just think about this rationally. If you're pumping all that fuel and air into your engine, the first thing it has to do is it has to intake all that. That has to intake all that lubrication that you're giving it. So that's exactly what it's doing. It's going to open up and it's going to intake that mixture. So okay, now that it has it inside the engine, that air and that fuel is getting inside there. What is it going to do with it? First, it has to be compressed. Now it's just in there. It was the intake portion. Next, it has to be compressed. That's your next stroke in your stroke game, the four strokes of an engine. Intake first, compression second. It's going to compress all that air, all that fuel in that mixture of those pistons as they start to firing. Then one of the most important and the most important stroke begins to happen. And that's the power stroke. You can always think about what's the most important stroke? Power stroke, giving that power, that dominant kind of position. What's happening in that power stroke? Your spark plugs, they're firing, and they're firing at a good time. And when they're firing at a good time, and it's looking at that nice compressed, already compressed air and fuel mixture, it's burning that thing off. And it's, when it burn that thing off, it's gonna boom, fire that piston, and make that thing pop, and boom, that's giving it that power stroke. Think about it if you're riding a bicycle, something that we've all been doing since we were kids. If we were on a bicycle, what would be the power stroke? Just think about you're pedaling a bicycle. When you push down and you take your leg and you uh, jam down and push down so that, bop, so that uh, bike can go up further and faster and faster, that's your power stroke. What happens when you push down, what happens to the pedal on the other side? It just automatically comes up. And then you push down on that pedal and the other pedal just automatically comes up. 
There's one power stroke in that cycle and the rest is just along for the ride. That's exactly what's happening inside your engine when the pistons are firing with them four strokes. The most important stroke, the power stroke. You powering that thing after that fuel and air mixture has been compressed, then boom, it gets popped. Hey, so check it, now what? It's already been fired that thing in the power stroke. There's nothing left to do but the exhaust. You gotta burn off that access. You gotta exhaust and get rid of that access. So that is the last stroke. The exhaust was coming out through that tailpipe. If you look at that tailpipe of that airplane and you got that little exhaust coming out, that's after it had that power stroke and it burned off a lot of that fuel and then it boom, gave you the power that you need so you can swing and bang that thing. Any access, boom, let's put that out through the tailpipe. Those are the four strokes of an engine. Intake, compression, power, the most important stroke, exhaust, A, boom. And here's a fun, easy way to remember the four strokes of an engine. Think about your own stroke game. When you're thinking about your own stroke game, some things gotta be in place for you to have a strong stroke game. One, you're gonna have to have that thing lubed up nicely. The air and that fuel gotta be lubed up. So you need that lube, that's what you're doing right there. You want that thing dripping wet. Secondarily, what's the first stroke? You gotta intake that thing first. Then you gotta compress, you tighten up that pelvis, you compressing everything, oh, you got them abs clenched up, and then you gotta give it that power. And then after you give it that power, whoo, exhaust, intake, compression, power, exhaust. Intake, compression, power, exhaust. The same way you do your thing, that's the way your engine is doing this thing. Whether it's in a small aircraft or a big aircraft, intake, compression, power, exhaust, the four strokes of an engine, let go! And this is the fun, easy way to remember the four strokes of an engine. I am Donovan Batiste. Hey, this here, oh, this is Leadership Mindset, a place where you can come for free and fun content about everything that you need to know for you to become a pilot. Because I want you to feel what pilots all over the world feel when we swinging and banging that thing. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel. Hey, one time, love you one time. Loud!